Mike from RossTraining.com. What I want to do in this video is address a topic that I've never really understood. It's always bothered me. When we think about fitness, fitness industry, exercise as a whole, whether you train just on your own or you train others, the goal at some level is to improve. You train athletes to become better at their sport. You train someone to live healthier, more active lives. Again, betterment. We're trying to improve in some way. So that's the goal of the industry. Yet despite the fact that we're trying to improve, for some reason, and again, it's always puzzled me, so many people who exercise spend so much time arguing with others who exercise about how they train. You got one guy, he likes barbells, he likes calisthenics, he likes dumbbells, he likes kettlebells. He likes this rep range, he likes that rep range. And there's a constant battle about who's right and who's wrong. I see it all the time whether it's YouTube comments, comments on social media sites like Facebook, I see it on internet forums, my own forum, people constantly battling with each other. When like it or not, the simple fact that you exercise, whether you agree with each other or not, you are still in some way part of a small minority. Most people in the world don't exercise. So here you are choosing to fight with each other when the majority don't do anything. The CDC not long ago put out some statistics that 80% of American adults don't get as much exercise as they should. Now look, I don't know how accurate the statistics are, but it doesn't take a rocket scientist to look around and see that most adults could probably use a little bit more exercise in their life. So here we are, we exercise, we train ourselves, we train others. We understand and appreciate the benefits of exercise. We enjoy living healthy, active lives. Why then are we going to waste so much time and energy fighting with someone else just because he chooses to exercise differently than us? How does it affect you? Let me answer that for you. It doesn't affect you. If you get upset about someone else exercises, you've probably got a lot bigger issues. Do you get upset with your neighbor if they drive a car that's a different color than your favorite color? They have a career that's different than yours? They go to school from something different than you? Again, who cares? We're all individuals. We can choose to do what we want to do. So why waste so much time and energy fighting with each other? Think about people who train to become stronger. We are training to lift things up. Why then focus so much time and energy towards putting others down? Why not take some of that time and energy and instead focus it towards the majority, the people who don't do anything? We all know someone, friends or family, who don't do anything. Say, hey, come on down to the gym with me. Let's go out for a hike, a walk, a run, a swim, a bike ride, something. Let's help them become more active in a positive way. Because just about any step off the couch is a step in the right direction. Don't worry if someone trains differently than you. There is no single best approach that's going to satisfy the masses. Different people are going to do well with different approaches. Just because you have been successful with a given approach doesn't mean that the guy next to you who trains differently is necessarily wrong. Oftentimes, there are several paths that lead to the same destination. So don't worry if someone trained differently than you. Not long ago, I put out a compilation video. Day after, someone writes me a two-page email telling me I don't like this, I don't like that, why do you do this, you should do this instead. Listen, I hate to break it to you, but look, I've been training for over 20 years. I haven't been waiting all this time for some anonymous keyboard warrior to come along and tell me what I need to do differently. I don't care if you like how I train. I don't care. I'm going to do what I've always done because I know what works for me. I encourage you to do the same. I'm not going to get upset with you if you train differently than me. I'm happy that you're actually training. Again, in some way, we're still part of the same minority. I'd much rather see someone train entirely differently than me than not doing anything at all. So rather than fighting with each other, look, spread the wealth. If you know and appreciate the benefits of a healthy and active lifestyle, share that with someone who doesn't do anything. You'll feel better about yourself instead of always being so negative every time you come across someone who chooses to be different than you. It's their right. It's not up to us to tell others how they should train. So in summary, if you have any questions about this or anything else, shoot me an email at ross at rosstraining.com.